One of the things you might want to do for your classroom or for your organization is to create a site template that others can simply copy and fill in. As you can see for this classroom project, I have several different topics that I want my students to cover. And they can spend quite a bit of time just creating this site, and I'd rather them focus most of their time on their research. So I've already created all of the pages that I want them to include in their project. And on each page, I've also, in addition to some of the formatting I like, I've also linked in some resources. And so on the home page, I have linked a couple of databases that we can use, and then I've even included a page called Turn In Your Site. And on this page, I have linked the forms that the students will use to turn in their pages. So I pretty much want them to be able to have this site ready to go. I don't want them obviously making changes to my site, so I'm going to submit this site to the template gallery for them to find and then quickly use. To do so, you'll go over to the More button and go down to Manage the Site. On the main page here, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see I can copy my site or I can publish it as a template. I need to give the site template a name. And this is important because this is how students will search for the template. So I typically always put RVHS at the beginning of any of my templates. So that's all my students need to look for. And then I'll put Imperialism Template or whatever I'd like to call it. I can enter a description for the site. And then I simply click the red Submit button. So I get a message at the top that says this site is now in the template gallery. Any changes I make will be visitors visible to all users. That's important to know, so you just want to make sure you keep track of which of your sites are templates. Any change I make is automatically going to be reflected on the template in the template gallery. So how would students then find this template? Um, let's go ahead and go back to my sites page here. This is where students would log in and they would go to their sites.google.com with their Jeffco account and they will click create to create a site. Now instead of using a blank template and picking a theme, they'll go over here to where it says select which template to use. They'll browse the gallery for more. And again, because I've tagged this as RVHS, the default is to search all the templates in our Jeffco domain. If they search RVHS, they're going to see the Imperialism template. And so they can simply click this. They can preview it or click the select button and it makes them their own copy that's ready to go for them to edit. Now if you ever want to remove a template from the template gallery, so I'm going to go back. <clears throat> Here is the template that I've just created. As soon as I make it a template, I get a link over here on the left side when I'm managing the site. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the site just so you can see the process for how I'd get here. So let's say that I don't want this template in the template gallery anymore. Back to more, manage my site. Now that it's in the template gallery, there's a, a link over here that says template information. Choose that. And then there's a link here to remove it from the gallery so that it's no longer available. And that is how you make and manage your templates.